All right, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Weebly site. You want to make sure you go to www.weebly.com. This is the site that your math teacher recommended to you and not education.weebly.com. Someone asked if this was the site and it is not. This is the one you want. So you can easily sign up by using your Facebook account and then you would have one less password to remember or you can add your full name, email, and create a password to sign up, and that's very easy. You'll see that I already have an account, so I go over here to the login, and I used my email, not the Walden one though, my Yahoo account. And since this is my personal computer, I can leave the Remember Me box ticked, and then just click Login. And here I am. And you will see that I actually have a couple of Weebly sites already. But since I'm creating one to show you how to create a site, um, I would click Add Site. If you haven't, if you don't already have a site, yours would look just like this, except you wouldn't have these websites here. So just click on the Add Site button. And the first thing you're asked to do is to choose a theme. So you can spend hours scrolling through and looking at all of this. You really just want to pick something that you like. So, and you can see as I kind of go around these, um, they have little boxes that pop up telling me that I can personalize it more. So let's look at this top one here. Um, right now it's in the theme of blue. Let's see what it looks like in red. Oh, you see that the highlights change from blue to red. So there's some ways to personalize it. I think I'll just leave the default and then click Choose. The next thing it should ask me to do is pick my domain. You want to use a subdomain of Weebly.com because that is free. So let me see. Example is taken. Example English website is available. So you have to make sure you find that green check mark and then you just come down here to the continue button and I can start working. The first thing I want to do is change the title from my site to something that's more descriptive. So Miss J's example website. That works for me. I like that and as I scroll down I can see that it tells me here I should drag elements because I'm on the build page and the elements are over here. There's the basic so I can add title or text, an image and text, image, gallery, slideshow, and you'll just have to explore that. I can add dividers and columns so you can see what all of those look like. Um, even YouTube videos if you so desire. I'm going to keep it simple and just drag a title over here. Welcoming people to my website. Welcome to my website. I hope you like it. Now if I'm not happy with the way that looks, I can highlight the text and I can make it bigger, like really big. I can make it um, centered or right aligned, whatever your heart desires. I could even change the color. So I just click there. It's a pretty, I would say regular text editor. So I can move the dot over here and say, ooh, I really like that blue. And then make that the color. And you can see what that looks like. So play around, have some fun with that. But what I really want you to do right now is publish your website. And that's this button up here and this pop-up window will come up asking once again to choose your website domain. Well, we've already done that so we don't have to do anything. We just click continue and it tells you that it's publishing and thinking about it and then you get this other window that says it's published and then this continue button though if you press that it will take you to um, well, basically to their website saying, hey, you can have, you can own this domain for a fee. So really, you can just click this X, or if you want to see what your website looks like to others, you can click on the hyperlink here. And here it is, exampleenglishwebsite.weebly.com. I have a home page, my title, the nice graphic it came with, the big welcome to my website. It looks pretty good. But remember, you need to make a blog page. Um, so let me just show you up here. 
is a very useful toolbar. Again, the build gives you access to all of those elements. The design tab lets me choose the different colors or I could completely change the theme again if I wanted to um, go back to design options. I could change fonts, anything. So if you feel like playing around with your website, that would be a great place to do that. If you want to add pages though, you click on pages and we want to add a blog page. So we'll click on that. You can change the name of that if you want to. Um, you can also change the t from a tall header to a short header, no header, landing page. Let's just do the short header and see what that looks like. And then we'll save and edit. So it will take you directly to your new blog page. So you can see the graphics a little shorter, which I kind of like because then people would see my blog a lot quicker. So I'm going to create a new post because this is how you would do your blog entry. And my title is just going to be first blog entry. Whoops. Sorry about that. And you can see here that I drag elements here to incorporate them. So I'm just going to keep it simple again and drag the text. And this is my example blog entry. And then again you can play with the text. If I think that's too small I can make it a little bigger, etc, etc. The other thing that you need to make sure that you do for your blog entries is create a tag and that you can do over here with categories. You just click on the add and the first one I told you to do was book choice and then all of the other ones um, relate to the questions that you're answering. So plot or theme or characters, etc, etc. Okay, um, I'm just going to tag this example and maybe I also want to tag it as blog. So I can put a comma and then click add and I have two new categories. Let's say I add like Miss Johnson, but I accidentally spelled my name wrong. Oh no, it's there forever? No, you see the little pencil? So I can click on that and then change Johnson to be spelled correctly, OH. And then you just click out of it and it's saved. So if you're ready to publish, then you would click save. And just to be sure, let's publish the website. I always like to do both just in case. Um, I think later on it will say publish live though and you'll automatically get this pop-up window. Um, again, you can check and see what that looks like and you see here, oh cool, I have my blog page. So I can click on the little link here and you can see my first entry and then the tags. The tags are helpful because as you're working on the blogs, you might be blogging about plot and character and setting, um, theme, and then when you go back to do your literary analysis essay, you can decide to write about characterization. So then when you click on like character, then it would show you all of your blogs that you talked about characters. So. Don't forget to do that because it will really help you later. All right, but going back to our site, we're going to exit out of there. And let's just do a new post. This one is going to be example post, we'll say. And let's add image and text. And we'll say this looks cool. Now to add an image, you click on that and you can see here I get a little pop-up window. I can add something from my computer. I could search the internet, I could find favorites, or I could just use a, a URL, but I have to make sure that it ends with JPEG, GIF, or PNG, because those are image files. So let's say I'm just going to search for English and we'll see what I end up with. These are my Oh, professional photos? Let's look for the free photos. There appears to... Okay, there are some. Um, let's select the church, because why not? And adding a photo is just that easy. 
If I don't like it on that side, I can drag it over here and it will keep it there for me. I can also link it um, and change all of that stuff. So you get to play around with that. But let's say I'm not quite ready to publish yet. So let's save to drafts and see what that looks like. And then when you see this, I have a draft and it has in parentheses a little number. So I can click on drafts and there's my example post again. So if I click on that, it automatically takes me back to editing. But let's go ahead and publish this live. And then you can see this time that the pop-up window automatically came up. So it is publishing my post, but taking a little longer for some reason. I guess the photo, perhaps. If you ever want to edit your blog posts, you can hover over them and then there will be a little window off to the right, I believe, that says edit post. And you click that and then you can edit whatever you've written. So if you notice like, oh, I misspelled a word or I forgot a period or something like that, it's not permanent. All right. Oh, I did publish. I was going to say I'm, I'm about ready to give up and try again because sometimes that's just what you have to do with technology is try again. All right, so here you can see if I hover over the post, I can edit the post and it will take me back to my text editor. Um, I could add other things if I wanted to, maybe a divider so you can see what that looks like. And then I can just publish the changes and go through all of this again. Oh, that was much faster. <laughs> All right, well, that is the basics that you need to know about your Weebly website. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.